I like this. This is kind of a neat, cool, uh... Okay, that's much more realistic, at least. We're gonna die! This is it! We're dead! Oh, we didn't die! Very cool. <laughs> For some reason our gun wasn't working at first, which was really strange, but now it's working, so we're good. It's also much more realistic than there being random people out here. They actually have robots guarding everything, which makes sense. Are we running out of oxygen? You can hear us breathing fast. This reminds me of scuba diving, actually. I bet that's where they got the sound for this. Uh, this nozzle, like hearing his breath when we start running or doing something, his breathing speeds up. Pretty nifty, actually. Ooh, there's um, a thingamabob we missed back there. How to get to that? That's strange. Maybe it's actually down there. Okay, yeah, it looks like that. Okay. Oh, that's it right there. It's just a golden meteor rock. All right. Always down for a little golden meteor rock. Don't die. Okay. Oh, we over we overshot our drop. I think we just died. Ah, it's just me, oh my God. <laughs> Consult the map to find the location of your next objective. Oh crap, we have to kill all these things again. Oh no, we don't, we, we just go. Yeah, we do. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> it's actually very easy. It's like they suicide bomb to try and come kill me, actually. A bit annoying. But you can slow your your motion mid-air, actually. Hit the yellow button! I wonder what that just did. Oh, it opened the door, nice. So we're going to find nuclear launch codes that we're gonna then use to destroy the Nazis. And use their own Nancy launch codes against them. What's this? A scalpel. What are we doing? Oh, what are we doing? This moment, back in the camp. This woman, I know her well. The Sylvia and the Will of Fire and the family gone, all of them yet. Faith, Faith kept her going. I, I, Why are we cutting into our own arms? Certainty. For me and everything, there must be doubt. Otherwise, there's no room to question the plan. Hey, gosh, that could 
this place. This is the fruit of unquestioned, ferocious conviction. This is where absolute certainty leads. Yet you are a believer. Uh, I often wonder what kind oh, of that's so sad. suffering such as this, and I question myself whether my faith is misplaced. Maybe he's testing us. Well, Jim Shen, if he is testing us, we are failing gloriously. Oh, he's cutting his uh, number. Oh! Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. He is a man. He cut the tattooed number uh, that they gave him at the, con the concentration camp. Like, he just cut it out of his arm with a scalpel. Ew. That was disgusting. And amazing. You go, BJ. That would effing hurt. I know, right? That would be disgusting. That would hurt so badly. He's on the moon. You can't get infected on the moon, Steam. Let's be realistic here. All right, we have overcharged health, so we're gonna try and get a takedown on this guy. Shit. Okay. Let's restart from our last checkpoint real quick. This is the first time we've done this in a while, but we want to go ahead and get this. Sure. <laughs> what do you mean? You think you can get infected on the moon? How how could you get infected on the moon? Obviously, viruses can't be alive on the moon. Just kidding. I know viruses aren't alive to be to begin with. Database mainframe inside the war room. Find the war room. Access the computer and print out the nuclear decryption keys. Oh shit, that's what saw me last time. Okay, looks like we're not getting that guy. Huh, what wonder how we're supposed to get past that then. Looks like we have to. And you'd bring them... Bring them from Earth. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah I know. I, Stina, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know you would. Oh, here. Okay. Now let's try and get this guy. He should be coming back around on his patrol, maybe? Yes. I believe he is. No! Ugh, that darn robot. Okay, so I just need to run through here and get this guy. Because we'll be able to we'll be able to chop him down almost immediately if we just walk straight through the area. We're save scumming, chat. We're save scumming. Okay. Let's grab that. So we should still. We come out right here. We'll come out right behind the guy, and we can just give it to me. Yes. Nice. Okay. So now I have to figure out a way to get past that thing, and I don't think we're actually going to be able to. I think we're just going to have to kill it. The problem is we're trying to assassinate the guys. So I don't really know what we're trying to go about, how we're going to go about doing this. Okay. We recharged our sniper rifles slash assault rifles. Yeah, I don't know. Cause we Somehow we had to get past that guy without setting these alarms off, right? But I don't know how that's possible, because he sees us every time we go near him. And it doesn't look like he's patrolling either. It looks like he's just standing there. Yeah.
Because we can easily kill I mean, we can kill him if we want to. That's not the idea here. It's not the idea here. We're trying to sneak past the guy. If he just stands there, he aggro's on us even if we're sneaking. Which is kind of odd. There is an encryption decryption database mainframe inside the war room. Find the war There must be a tunnel or something that we're missing. And print out the nuclear decryption key. At least this will get us the perk we wanted. There we go. Now we... Oh, okay, we got it. Nice. Okay, this is exactly what we were missing, so this is good. We got the vampire perk now as well, which is pretty cool. So now we gain health back when we sneak kill people. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Steen donating just to get her name up at the top of that, uh, that list. Oh, come on, I hate that. It's so annoying. When you go up a ladder, it immediately stands, it immediately stands you up, stops you from sneaking. And so when we got to the top of the letter, the, the general dude was standing there, and since we were no longer sneaking, he just immediately saw us. Really a, quite a dumb mechanic, because if you're sneaking, you would never... You would never stand right immediately up. Yeah. It, it, and the interesting thing is, they didn't fix it in the other in the new game as well, the one we just played. Before this one, which is a year newer it still is the same mechanic it's very odd okay one down there's the other guy right here Got both of them. Nice! Looks like there's only these two guys left in here, so I think we're just gonna kill them. These guys have so much armor on them. Let's go find uh, all the loot in this area. And then continue on our way. Oh, we don't, we actually don't want that. Get some more armor, get some more health. Take his pistol ammo, cause actually silence pistol ammo is kind of hard to come by on this, uh, on this ship. So this is what we'll press to get the nuclear launch codes, I imagine. Cool, let's do it. Boom! Oh, just kidding. It's an elevator. Oh, get another diary entry. December 24th, 1956. My heart is breaking. Friends I've known my whole life have all become Nazis. Mother and father are not happy about it, but they comply rather than resist. I feign my smile and act cheerful, but I have started to resent my own parents. I am 33 years old. I am all alone in the world. Oh, that's really sad. She hates Nazis, but because the Nazis won, everyone she knows is now a Nazi. Because there's nothing, I mean, you can no longer resist when there's not even a war going on anymore. They just own the entire world. Yeah. And not only that, but she's been killing Nazis her whole life, right? So she's like a Nazi killing machine. She's killed probably hundreds and hundreds of Nazis. 
And then, like, her best friends and even the people who didn't like the Nazis at first are now Nazis. Pretty crazy. Alright, let's, let's try and take these guys out silently if we can. One down. Where are we going? Where even are we right now? Where are we? Should be on this map somewhere, but... Oh, we're all the way over here. Okay, well, there's a, a secret right next to us. We actually missed one. Damn it, we, we aggroed them. That sucks. Oh, get off me! Oh, God, these, these dang mechanical dogs. And I was really looking forward to doing this without um, just sneaking around the whole thing. That's okay. We've gotten, we've unlocked all the snacking perks, so it's not not too huge of a deal. Okay, let's go back around the side and grab this uh, loot item that we were missing. Oop! Use our throwing knife. Okay, should be right behind us. Maybe right here? Nope. Okay, it looks like it's underneath us then, I guess. Go ahead and walk down. Oh no, there is, there is no underneath us, so it's like... Oh, there it is. Nice, okay. We had so much trouble finding that one, and it was kind of hidden in plain sight. Okay. I believe this is where we're supposed to be going. Yes, I will take some armor, please. Yeah, okay. This is definitely where we're supposed to be going. <laughs> I would have never imagined that this game would take us to the moon. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny. 1962, and all the technology looks like it's even farther advanced than what it would be now. Ooh, that, this thing looks really scary. But, in, in the defense of the game, the reason all the technology looks like it's more advanced than it is today is because they found some secret society's um, stockpiled research that was hundreds of years ahead of their time, so. More advanced than today is what they're going for. So have tons of throwing knives to use. I do so enjoy using throwing knives in this game. Check our perks real quick. Five kills within 10 seconds using attack turret gun. Ooh, we can get that. And there's this one. Okay, so now we need to get assault rifle kills. We need like six more. Problem is we don't have an assault rifle to use. Which is super, un super unfortunate. Super unfortunate. Alright, we, we want to continue checking, so it looks like there's going to be another collectible right here. Should find those nuclear decryption keys. Get Should find those nuclear rock. decryption keys. Get off this space rock. Woo! The speed dagger throws! Super accurate. It's kind of funny. You kill hundreds, not if not thousands of people in this game. 
in one playthrough. Just just you as an individual. Imagine if there was someone like this in real life. Get your butt back to Earth, please, William. Klaus is in London. He will bring you back to Berlin once you land. Yeah, you know, that's a good reason to keep it on the moon, because if someone were to come steal them, how the hell would they ever get off the moon? Right? Like... There it is, okay. I guess we're probably gonna hijack a space shuttle. That seems like the most likely scenario. Another diary entry. 1957. I should keep fighting, but who is there to fight? Everyone is a Nazi now, or at least they. Oh, this was only three be. years ago. I, I think. Can no longer tell the difference. We're on our way home. Class Alpha security breach. Oh, how I love throwing knives. They're my favorite. And it also conserves a lot of ammo. So they're effective to use as well. What? Oh, where? Where are we supposed to be going? Oh, there they are. I always just completely overlook these things. So there is what looks like a collectible in here, so we want to make sure we... Damn it! That was one of those super strong dudes. Now we're out of ammo. That sucks. Gonna have to bring the big guns in. Class Alpha, security breach. I'm guessing Cl Class Alpha is the highest level of security breach. Ah, final, final diary entry. Death's heads men are coming by the asylum every other week. They are taking people that have been in my care for years. So it is her, it's her aunt, not her grandmother. I hate them. Because she never had a child. But I can't fight alone anymore. I watch the men with the scars. I whisper things to him. Sometimes I can see some part of Oh, that's me. Break. I'm the man with the scars. Can see me. I will not let them take him. That was the last entry, William. Some of the things in this...